Welcome back, everyone. Since last episode, I have been keeping busy, but not too busy. First of all, I have upgraded our solar panel situation. So we had two level one solar panels here, and now we have two level three solar panels. Each of them can generate 64 RF per tick, which is fantastic. More than enough to run both our uh, sag mill and our alloy smelter. Crafting them wasn't that bad, so you start with the solar panels, like this, glass and iron, redstone and wood. Eight of those becomes a level two solar panel if you add a little gold and redstone. And for the level three, you take four of those level two solar panels, add some lapis and glass, some more of the mirrors, a basic machine frame, which isn't that tough, and a leadstone energy cell, which is also not awful. And you get one of these guys. So our power generation being upgraded is really nice. Hopefully it's going to allow us to, I don't know, do some fun stuff in the near future. Uh, the other thing I built is a capacitor bank. So we previously had this guy which is a basic capacitor bank. And I also built this guy, which is a standard capacitor bank. Right now, <coughs> excuse me. Right now I'm running the sag mill, so there's a slight drain of power, but we are getting a net positive from both of those solar panels. I also upgraded the sag mill with a double layer capacitor as well as the alloy smelter. It increases the amount of power it uses, but it vastly speeds up the processing of things. If we look here, we can see we get a new piece of sand every second or so, which is great. That sand can then be put in our adjustable chest here, which is actually an automatic furnace no power required, and it just smelts anything you put in it. I have to be careful though, because if one of these stone becomes the first items, it'll smelt it into, uh, uh, yeah, circuit plates, which is problematic. This chest is also a cobblestone generator, so when I want to, I can put a bucket of water in here, and generate a bunch of cobblestone. As long as I've got a bucket of lava and a bucket of water, it generates cobble and smelts it. It's kind of awkward, but it's doing what I need it to right now. I'm actually going to take some of the sand and use the alloy smelter to smelt it up. Okay, what else did I do? I went mining a little bit in uh, the Twilight Forest after last episode. Got some uh, adamantine and atlerus, which combined make tartarite, which is, I have been told, the best material uh, in the pack for Tinker's Construct weapons and tools. We'll play around with that sometime. I don't think today. I'm kind of happy with the weapons and tools I have at the moment. Right now, my major concern is this. All this that we need to dig out before we can begin building our base. And building our base is what drives me right now. This hovel as functional as it may be, is slowly killing me. So, 
I want to see about making an ender quarry. Now normally an ender quarry is going to take an area defined by the user and replace in it anything that isn't dirt with dirt. Or, yes, I think that's how it works. And in so doing, it produces, uh, kind of spits out, all of the cobble and all of the ores and such that it mines up. But there are upgrades, and the upgrade we'll be interested in is the world hole upgrade, which will cause the machine to actually leave a hole behind. If we set that thing up, it will take out a huge rectangle of space that we need taken out, and then I can go in and potentially clean up with my hammer uh, and excavator. Get everything we need just utterly destroyed so that we can actually build what we want to. Okay, but how can we do that? And you might be wondering, what is this thing here? This is an easy crafting table. Easy crafting tables, added by the easy crafting mod, are wondrous. That is how I made the solar panels up there, which would otherwise require a lot of very tedious crafting little minute pieces again and again, all adding up to a whole, something that normally I would automate with applied energistics auto crafting, but we don't have AE right yet. Er, right now, more appropriately. But an easy crafting table is not only used for easy crafting, it is itself easy to craft. The easy crafting table It's just redstone, a book, and a crafting table. Okay, I'm going to show you what it does, but by way of demonstration first. So, with normal crafting, if we wanted to make an endothermic pump, which is required for our ender quarry, We'll need two of them, actually. So if we needed to make this, you can see first we would have to make an iron pick. Then we would need to make Oh, I don't even know how to make that. Ender infused obsidian. Okay, easy enough. Then, I think we would be able to shift-click it in. No, we couldn't even shift-click it in because buckets of water and lava and picks don't stack. And you can only shift-click things that stack. And diamond on top. There. Endothermic pump. Okay. Wasn't that hard? Just a couple of extra steps. But behold, if we come to our easy crafting table and give it a moment, it will recursively look through every item that we are capable of crafting given the materials in our inventory. It goes to a level of, er, to a depth of three. That is, you can have three intermediate crafting steps getting leading to the final thing you want and it lists everything oh interesting an infinite water source super void frame rusty hatch these are all the things we can craft given what's in our inventory given sticks obsidian iron buckets of lava diamonds you get the drift all the diamond armor all the other things that it's capable for us to craft. But, anyway, 
You can remember that some of these need intermediate steps, like this endothermic pump here requires me to craft this ender-infused obsidian and a number of other things. Rather than having to do that myself, I click the endothermic pump, and the entire process is done. It takes the items out of your inventory and uses them, and then it will search your inventory again and say, hey, here's what you can make now. So we're also going to need one of these diamond etched computational matrices. M sorry, matrices. Uh, that is, yeah, necessary for our ender quarry. Let's also just look what we need for the world hole upgrade. Quartz blocks, ender quarry upgrade base. It's going to be burnt quartz and ender-infused obsidian. So we can grab the ender-infused obsidian here, and then we'll need a little bit more burnt quartz, which we used all that was in our inventory to make the computational matrix. Okay, so if we do that, and come over here to our furnace, bam, burnt quartz. Now we can go to the QED, burnt quartz in the center, ender obfuse obsidian, and it's going to make our quarry base. Cool. Okay. Looking at the recipe for the ender quarry, you can see we have the endothermic pumps, we have the diamond etched computational matrix, we have ender abused obsidian. We can even easily make a diamond pickaxe. No, we don't quite have enough ender infused obsidian, so we'll just make that, even though it would make it for us in the easy crafting table. Okay. The thing we don't have, though, is the ender core. Or are the ender cores. Hmm. We're going to need more ender abused obsidian. I think I'm going to need to make more obsidian. But anyway, the thing that we need here is magical wood. Magical wood requires enchanted books, of which we have very few. Let's look. A sharpness two, a feather falling. We can also use enchanted objects. We can use the recurve bow. Oh, division sigil is glowing. And I saw another Eldritch Blade. Okay, that gives us four enchanted items. We will also need a bookshelf. And gold. Okay. Let's do this. So, we can make a bookshelf. Gold in the corners and enchanted items. Hopefully we will get a lot, not enough magical wood. Huh. Okay. So, it looks like we are going to need to do some enchanting. Okay. I'm just 
going to put the rest of this that we will need potentially for crafting away here and we won't need this water okay cool so we need to do some enchanting let's take a look at what's available to do that so we have the enchantment table we actually already have one so that's a possibility mana enchanter is a batania object i think it's pretty complicated so that's not going to happen there is the enchanter from ender io oh this makes enchanted books okay this might be a somewhat good mm, nope okay option let's just see okay yeah so if we look here we can maybe find the recipe Okay, let's grab one of these books out and look at the recipe for it. Okay, excellent. So, now we can get all the recipes for the enchanter. Protection is 16 dark steel. Fire protection. I'm thinking we want something single feather gets us a feather falling one book we want something that's hopefully going to produce a great deal of magical wood I bet looting wood we can use any head crumbs head that's a definite advantage. Oh, we can get a silk touch book, although that costs 30 levels. Looting only costs 8. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. There are even... extra mod based recipes which is kind of cool looks like we can get just about any enchantment we want okay cool I think that I like the recipe for looting most of all I bet looting is a highly valued enchant I bet looting one even is going to get us a lot of magical wood. The thing I noticed though is we need book and quills. So for that, we're going to need to tap into our chests, see if we can't find some ink sacks. Oh, here we go. And I think we have feathers somewhere. Yes, feathers. Awesome. Okay. So that can get us the signed books. We'll need books. We will need dark iron, which I think is here. Yep, dark steel, that is. And we'll need our diamonds to make the enchanter. Okay, let's do this. Okay make an enchanter. This is going to have the definite advantage of not needing us to make 15 bookshelves, which I have always thought is somewhat absurd uh, in order to get high-level enchanted items from uh, vanilla Minecraft. Although I suppose we're not getting high-level enchants. Okay, 
we'll do three to start. And we wanted heads as well. Well, I'm not going to use Direwolf 20's head. But I know I had a stack. Not a stack, but quite a few zombie and skeleton heads. Ethos head, totally not using that either. Oh. Hmm. There we go. Zombie heads. And as you can see, I actually have a lot of levels. Ooh. And that is because... I... haven't really died since I charged up my white stones. There really wasn't a way for me to do that, so... It has been quite nice. Okay, let's try this again and see how many enchanted wood we get. Now, the important thing here, I'm fine with this. It only cost me some levels and some easily renewable resources. I did not want to have to give up my extra Eldritch Blade. The only thing that is annoying... Oh, there are some squid right down there. We will have to get more squid. For the ink. But we got a creeper hat and some other hats. Man, there are a lot of squid here. Awesome. And we get some calamari as a bonus. Okay. Cool. Actually, I should put my calamari in here. And in the meantime, make some more. Oh, we got not only Minecraft raw squid, but also raw calamari from Harvestcraft. Cool. Okay don't know, I don't think I will actually have enough levels, which is unfortunate, but I can use the other book we have. One, two, three, actually three times eight, I should have exactly enough levels. And use three more of my zombie heads. It's okay, we will make a mob grinder soon enough, and when we do, it will not be an issue to get zombie heads. Okay, awesome, and we just need four more gold, and we'll need something else, but I can't remember what now. that other book. Here it is. Awesome. Okay, so... Uh, nope, one final thing. Some more wood to make a bookshelf. Okay, here we go. Bookshelf. Gold. Magical wood. 
Awesome. I don't think I needed as much magical... Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Good. Okay, let's take all these things out. And see what we can do. So, we want an ender quarry, which it doesn't look like it thinks we can make. Nah, and that's because we do not have enough obsidian, I don't think. Because we can make that ender core, we can make that ender core. Okay, apparently that only made one ender core in the past. That has happened if I didn't actually have enough resources for the second of the item. But I'm not entirely sure why I wouldn't. Unless Ender Cores, let's look, might require Eyes of Ender. No, 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 these. Oh, yep, okay. That is what I'm missing then. I, ha I need another blaze powder. Okay, so I'm going to make a quick trip to the nether. And get some blaze rods, because I am fresh out. And then I will be back to show you the final combine. Okay guys, I have my blaze powder. Let's do this. So, if we come down here, I also got the Ender Quarry upgrade base out of the QED. We're going to grab our Ender Quarry. Oof, that felt good. And our World Hole upgrade. Bam. Okay. There are... or is one more step to this. It's going to require a little bit more of that ender-infused obsidian. And what we need to do is use it to make ender markers. Now, let's just double check Uh, I think we have an, a book we can reference. Here we go. Open domination with open blocks, or sorry, world domination with open blocks. Okay, it's not working from inside the book binder, so let's... Let's figure this out. Oh, this is not open blocks, though. This is extra utilities. So our open blocks book is not going to help. Okay. So if we... Here and extra utilities. It does not look like there is an extra utilities book. I didn't really think there was. I was just being hopeful. Hmm. So the question I am trying to answer for myself slash ask <laughs> is whether Oh, here we go. 
blah blah blah. One spirit, see next page. Anything that was not dirt or plant life to an adjacent inventory. Fences. Uh, this is outdated information. Okay, that's too bad. The Ender Quarry used to require fences. Now it requires these Ender Markers. But I don't know whether it needs three or four of them. I suppose we can test. Bam. 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 that define it does not okay so I need one more piece of ender infused obsidian which means I need one more bucket of lava Good. And right here into my vat. The vat, you can see, is now being fed by an infinite water source from pressure pipes. A single block infinite water source that's solid, you can stand on it. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so we got obsidian. Oh, darn it. Okay, I just realized the ender obsidian recipe requires four obsidian. You have to do it in multiples of four. I don't know if I've got... There's one... Up. Uh, yep. Don't have enough lava currently. Okay, so... I think this is probably where we'll end for this episode. I know, I know, I'm sorry that we didn't get to see the quarry in action. But next episode, that is how we will start, I promise. Uh, between this episode and next, I'm going to run and get a little more lava, get everything worked out, and I will probably... Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Okie doke. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.